You're a manifesting generator in your human design, and now you want to understand how to align your business and create success by understanding and utilizing your energetic authenticity. Don't worry, I got you. And in this video, I'm going to touch down and break down the most important things that you need to start integrating in your business and in your life so that you can start finally achieving that sense of flow and moving out of resistance connecting to your purpose, and tuning into the gifts that you have come to share with the world. My name is Mikey Gabriela, and I'm a human design leader, a deconditioning expert, and the founder of the Transformational Human Design Certification. And I have supported hundreds and hundreds of burned out and stuck manifesting generators to create an empowered, beautiful, successful, and aligned business. In this video, I'm going to break down the most important steps that you need to start implementing so that you can tap into your gifts and start utilizing your purpose to make the world a better place. Let's get into it. So here it goes. One of the biggest mistakes that I see manifesting generators do in their business is trying to follow the advice of niching down. In the business marketing world, everybody's like, you have to niche down, you have to have a branding, you have to have a font, you have to have a specific color. And that does not align at all to the energetic authenticity of the manifesting generator, nor to the purpose that you have come to express in this lifetime. And so do not niche down, please. Um, it will hurt your soul to try to niche down, okay? And so what happens is that as a manifesting generator, you are this curious soul. You are hungry. You are pulled into different directions. Your sickle center is responding to inputs, to ideas, to stories, to colors, to references. And it is important for you to be able to connect to that body guide, to that internal compass that allows you to dig into the things that you're excited about. And that means that it's really important for you to not put yourself in a cage or put yourself in a box. That is something that you already might have experienced all of your lifetime because the world is not built for manifesting generators rather than generators that do one thing and stick to that and gain mastery and do that for all of their life. As a manifesting generator, that is not your aligned authentic path. Then that is not the purpose for which you have come into this lifetime. And so it can be very jarring for you to try to niche down in fact, it can actually pull you away from your purpose and create stagnant energy and blocks within your free expression of wanting to create a beautiful business because you're trying to niche down and it feels impossible to you. It feels impossible to you to niche down because you're not meant to niche down. You're meant to have a big umbrella under which you can put all of these different tools and interests that you have and share them. And it's the same for branding. It's the same for how you show up on social media. Don't allow, you know, anybody, any guru to tell you that you are only allowed to show a certain aspect of yourself. You will become incredible magnetic and you will be able to stand out when you do the things that feel right to you. And that is why you have the sacral response. You have that authority that allows you to understand what feels good for you and what doesn't feel good for you. And so trying to niche down will rob you from your inspiration, will rob you from that life force that you have, from that creation that wants to be born through you. And so the more you can allow yourself to let go of that concept of that you need to niche down and you find a way to integrate whatever limiting belief you have that doesn't allow you to be able to tap into all of the different interests you have. So a lot of manifesting generators come to me and they're like, oh, I'm interested in so many things. I'm afraid my clients will get confused. The truth is that there are so many manifesting generators who are interested in so many things and will appreciate you being a role model and you stepping up and owning that we are able to be multifaceted human beings. And that just because we're interested in different things and we have knowledge in different things doesn't mean that we're indecisive and doesn't mean that we don't have clarity, but actually that we're embracing a different kind of energy and we're embracing a different kind of living life, which is what you're meant to do as a manifesting generator. 
So tip number one is do not niche down, but actually dive and lean into your curiosities and make that a beautiful, enriched experience for your clients to be able to access thanks to your endless curiosity and your willingness to open up and share the things that you're passionate about. The second tip for manifesting generators to create a successful business is being innovative. So here's the thing. Your purpose as a manifesting generator is to be disruptive. You have come here to show the world that we don't have to go to school and then study something and then get a degree and then find a job and like whatever that path is. You're really meant to jump from one letter to the other, A, D, F, G, Z, whatever. It doesn't have to be that linear path. In fact, you're meant to prove to the world and show us and inspire us to understand that we do not need to go that linear path, that actually there's richness and excitement and adventure in figuring out things in a different way. And so for you, it's going to be incredibly important to bring the energy of innovation into any field that you want to, you know, further your business or create a business from or be able to make money from. Innovation is going to be the thing that people will pay for your point of view and your capacity of creating innovation. Why? Because you're not narrow-minded, because you don't stick to one thing and you have this broad capacity of understanding and these curiosities and this like horizontal way of understanding and taking in life. And so the magic of the manifesting generator is that you will make two things that seemingly have nothing to do together and you're going to make them work right? Like if we look at a classic manifesting generator, Angelina Jolie, who like in my time, Y2K K era was this wild girl who was like making out with her brother and wearing like her lover's blood around the neck. Now she's a representative of the UN. And so she has gone from being, you know, this like sensual actress in Hollywood to being a very respected person, uh, within this whole other realm that has a very serious, um, connotation, right? It feels like acting is frivolous and working for the end is something that has like strong integrity, but she's making both of them work and she's not sacrificing any of these sides of herself to find success and live a life that fulfills her. And that's what you want to be doing in your business. You want to merge things that other people are not able to even grasp as a concept together. You want to free yourself from this idea that you need to reject parts of your whole authentic self in order to show up and be successful. We want to integrate and remove any limiting belief that is stopping you from being able to tap into your true potential and in really honoring that curiosity. And so you're going to be able to see things in a perspective that other people are not able to see. When people no longer see because they're thinking in a certain structure, you're going to come in with your innovation. You're going to come in merging things that nobody ever thought about to create a whole new formula. And that is your gift. Your gift is being disruptive. Your gift is breaking down the patterns that we have had until now to create a whole new path. And the more you lean into this disruptive energy that you carry, the more you lean into owning that you are a curious person that has a lot of passions, and the more that you're able to bring up that shadow side that might feel rejected or might be fearful of being judged for having a lot of interest, the more powerful and more successful you will become. And so when you're able to show yourself as you are with all of the amazing gifts and talents that you carry with that innate passion and that energetic strength and that dominance and that capacity for being incredibly independent, but also very hardworking, um, that is when you're actually really going to see that people will look for you and will come to you to be able to grasp the different way that you're thinking, to be able to connect to the innovative way that you have approaching topics, solutions, objectives, hurdles, you're going to be the person that is going to bring a new angle into anything that you're doing. And that is the gift that you're meant to express. So don't try to narrow yourself down. Don't try to do things the way everybody's telling you how to do them. 
and really understand that when you're doubling down on doing things differently, which is your nature, that is when you're going to be at max capacity to connect to the gifts within you that will contribute the maximum value to others and therefore bring abundance and prosperity into your life. Another really important factor that I want to share with you and that I want you to become aware about is the fact that as a manifesting generator, you have this very beautiful defined yin and yang energy. You have a very clear masculine and feminine energy within your energetic body because you are the hybrid between the manifester, which is at its core masculine energy and the generator, which at its core has feminine attracting energy. And so what's going to happen is that when you're compromising too much, when you're not listening to your sacral, when you're moving out of fear, when you're acting out of lack mindset and are holding on to limiting beliefs about who you're allowed to be in this world to receive abundance and success, what's going to happen is that those energies might get decompensated. And what I mean by that is that because in our childhood, we had to often reject parts of our whole authentic self in order to be loved and accepted, we become adults that believe that it's not safe for us to show the whole of ourselves. And so we started using these coping mechanisms that make us feel safe and make us believe that if we continue to act in a certain way, we're not gonna be abandoned and we're gonna continue to feel safe and loved by our environment. Even if our environment has changed because we're no longer in our household, right? Those are the dynamics that stay ingrained in our subconscious and then within our nervous system. What will happen is that you're either too much in your feminine energy, you're too much in your generator energy, you're too much in your people pleasing energy, you're trying to over give in order to make yourself indisposable so that people depend on you to a degree that you can release the fear of being abandoned because you're over giving so much and you're people pleasing to such an extent that other people are relying on you so strongly. It will create a feeling of resentment within you, but that feeling of resentment to your subconscious is less scary than the actual fear of being abandoned that is rooted within your subconscious from childhood. And so one of the tendencies will be being too much in this generator, doing, 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 never saying anything, complying, working endless hours, giving your energy away to others, working on projects that you're not excited about for people that you know, that don't hold the same vision as you and feeling really burned out because you're giving, 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 but you're not accessing the whole part of you, right? So one of those aspects is like, being too much in your feminine energy, being over giving, being people pleasing and creating codependency and trying to control others by making them dependent on you. And the other one is being too much in your masculine energy, being too much in the manifester energy. And the manifester energy is what represents your defined energy throat, which is also motor, which also gives you energy. And so what happens is that as the manifester is very intense, very authoritarian, if you're not collaborating with the universe and your sacral center to create magic in your life, to attract the right people, chances and opportunities, you're going to try to force things from your masculine energy. What happens when we try to force things from our masculine energy as manifesting generators is that we're moving out of energetic integrity and they are completely forgetting the collaboration of the universe to really being able to create a business and find clients and create an offer that is absolutely aligned with our soul's path and purpose. When we're not able to connect to our true soul path and purpose, it is jarring to our innate energy. And that will not break abundance. That will not break prosperity. That will not break success. We will find the most resistance and the most issues the further away we are from our own truth. The closer we are moving towards our own truth, the more successful and the more resistance for your life will become. And so it's so important to understand that you are inhabiting both of these energies and that you need to find the balance and nurture both of them equally. If you're too much in your manifester energy, people will feel like you are being too much. People will feel like you're trying to overpower them because as a manifesting generator, you are the fastest, most independent energy type. And you're actually, you have this incredible resource of powerful energy. But people don't like to be cohorts. People don't like to feel like they don't have a choice. 
And that is what it can feel like if a manifesting generator is moving out of this masculine energy without really tapping into the collaboration of the universe and the sequel in the feminine. And so we don't want any of those scenarios. The way that you're able to create the most aligned success for business for you is that you really understand how to balance these two sides of yourself. You cannot make too many compromises that your sacral is drained and you don't have the safety to listen to what your gut guiding feeling is telling you. You need to be self-aware and connected to your body so that you can listen to that response that your sequel is giving you. So that you can listen to that decision-making tool that you have that will lead you onto the path to your purpose. And once you have that certainty within that gut feeling and that excitement that you are on the right path and doing the things that you should be doing, that's when you can use your masculine energy and initiate and start things and sell things and cold call and tell people about the things that you're doing or you want to be doing. But you always have to wait for that initial gut reaction. And if your connection to your gut reaction is not stable and is not trustworthy, the fear might often bring you into this masculine energy. And when you try to force things with sheer energetic force because you're not aligning with the universe, the people that you will meet or that you will try to get to do what you want them to do because you think that is the only way to have a successful business and you're standing in the way of the magic of the universe guiding you, when your mind is involved, those people will disappoint you. And the same will happen with projects. You can force projects to happen. But those projects will crumble or they will be a very uncomfortable experience for you to have. And it's the same with chances and opportunities and anything that you try to force out of your will if you have not connected to your sacral center before. So it is incredibly important that you practice to find balance between yin and yang energy that you carry as a manifesting generator so that when you meet people and you interact with people and you want to share with people your service and your uh, business and what you're offering, that that comes from a place of full integrity and power and not coming off scarcity and wanting to overpower and wanting to energetically dominate others, but to really be this very magnetic, peaceful, satisfied force that attracts and you know is able to stand on their own without needing other people to do anything and that will create the biggest magnetism that will create the biggest interest in what you have to offer and last but not least one of the most important things for you to be able to flourish and really expand into the highest most warm inspiring version of yourself is finding people that support you and so what happens is that a lot of times people who do not understand energetics feel competitiveness towards the manifesting generator. Because you're the fastest, most independent energy type, others try to compete with you. They think they can, which just between you and I, they can't. And so you might sometimes find yourself in dynamics at work, in your business, with coworkers, friends, in school, whatever it is, where you notice that people are trying to shame you for your capacity. You're able to do three jobs at a time and you know, like have a completely full calendar and be constantly on the go and busy, 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 and other people don't have that capacity. So oftentimes their shame and feeling of inadequacy in this very overproductive society can be projected on you and people can make you feel bad for all that you're capable of doing. And that creates shame within you that makes you question if what you're doing is correct and that maybe you should do less, do slower, or not stand so big in this energetic power that you have. And so we know that the people that surround us and the environment that we choose to be in is a factor in our success, is a factor in our potential for growth and can influence the way that our path is molded. We can have more or less resistance if we have people who inspire us. We're going to have some more ease. And if we have people who are making us feel shit about ourselves, it's probably going to be harder. Okay. So it's really important to have an environment that is supportive of your energetic power. And so what you want to do is you want to find people who see you for who you are, who respect you for your capacity, who don't question if you want to change what you're studying for the 400th time in the last three weeks. 
if that's what you feel like doing and you're genuinely excited and you're trusting your sacral to do that, then you need the people around you who are in incredible awe of everything that you're able to do. So what you want to do is to find people who are able to sit at the sidelines and cheer you on because life of a manifesting generator is intense. You're going to be roaming the street, roaming the world for information, inspiration, you know, with this curious nature, there is this drive to really explore life and use it to the max. And if you have people who are trying to compete with you, which they can, so it's like a little bit like a joke, or people who are trying to make you feel bad because you're faster, quicker, um, and just more intense than them, that's not going to further your progress. So you really want to understand and refine the values on which you base your relationships in work, in you know your environment, family, friends, that are able to see you for who you are and cheer you on and celebrate your intensity, celebrate your curiosity and are really there to encourage you when you're pivoting because one of the biggest insecurities of manifesting generators is that desire to pivot. Like I wanted to do this, but now suddenly I'm excited about this other thing. What are people going to think about me? Luckily, we're so many people on the planet and everybody just thinks about themselves. So the more you're able to let go of those outer voices and let go of the opinions and other of others and focus on creating an environment where you're inviting others to celebrate you, where you're really like stepping into embodying your energetic authenticity as a manifesting generator, you will have more ease in finding people that support you. The more unapologetic you are about who you've come to be and how you do things, the more true colors of others also will show. When you create boundaries and you say no to people or opportunities that don't feel right to you, it is actually not something negative or something hurtful towards the other person, but you can reframe it and look at it and look at it through a lens of like you're teaching others how to love you correctly. And so within this concept of really finding people who cheer you on, trust that if you don't have these people right now in your life, they will come the more aligned you get. One of the biggest things that I've noticed in my personal and professional life is that every time that I've up-leveled in my business, every time when I've had a significant increase in my earnings and in my success, Friends that even if they've been friends for like 10 years, suddenly moved out of my life. And it doesn't mean that there has to be a fight or a disagreement, but it's really just like when our frequencies change, the people that we used to match to no longer match, right? So there's like this kind of like distance and separation. Um, and that doesn't mean that in two years or in six months or like 10 years, you will meet again because, you know, life is magical and we never know that. But I think... You know, it's really important to allow yourself to let go of those people who are not able to support your energetic authenticity and allow others to also relearn getting to know you once you show up energetically aligned and are able to really move into who you want to be. I hope these tips will help you to create a more successful, aligned, magical, and abundant, prosperous business. And I am so grateful for you to be here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Send it to anybody who you think could benefit from this information. And again, thank you so much for being here. Remember, I don't care what anybody says. I love you.